refusing to film scenes involving cheating, Matthew Perry and John Krasinski said, I'm not going to shoot it. When it came to recording certain scenes during their careers, some Hollywood actors drew the line. The popular sitcom Friends and its central plot of Chandler Bing and Monica Geller's romance won over viewers all over the world. Throughout the course of the 10-year run of the show, Matthew Perry, who played Bing, refused to cheat on Kurt Annie Cox's character, Geller. John Krasinski, like Perry, was against Jim Halpert cheating on Jenna Fisher's character Pam Beasley on The Office. Actress Lisa Cash revealed after Perry passed away in October that she was originally slated to play Chandler's on-screen love interest, but Perry turned down the plot. According to Cash, Matthew Perry said the audience would never forgive him, NBC News reported. Matthew Perry went to the writers and said the audience would never forgive him, which made a lot of sense. The One in Vegas, Part 1, Episode 23 of Season 5, was supposed to feature the cheating scene. In the end, Cash made an appearance on Friends as a flight attendant in a scene starring Jennifer Aniston as Rachel Green and David Schwimmer as Ross Jeller. Cash wholeheartedly supported Perry's decision to scrap the scene, even if it meant she would not be receiving a significant part in the critically acclaimed sitcom. Cash remarked, I think he was very right. This wouldn't have been a break, despite the claim that Ross and Rachel were on one. He would have made this choice while they were still together. I think it would have really changed how the audience Chandler and that whole thing, the speaker went on. I'm not sure if they would have made it through. During an episode of Watch What Happens, live with Andy Cohen in 2017, Perry revealed that he had turned down the opportunity to film a second Friends scene. There was a storyline on Friends where Chandler went to a male strip joint because he really liked the sandwiches, Perry said. And I called up and said, let's not do this one. Viewers of The Office are aware that Jim and Pam clicked right away when they first started working together at the fictitious Dunder Mifflin Paper Company in Scranton, Pennsylvania. In Welcome to Dunder Mifflin, the ultimate oral history of The Office, Krasinski wrote that when Pam took maternity leave with their first child, the original script called for Jim to have an affair with the new secretary in The Office. In the book written by Brian Baumgartner and Ben Silverman, the actor recalled, that's the only time I remember putting my foot down. I remember saying things that I never thought I'd say before, like, I'm not going to shoot it.